Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to design columns inside ETAPS software using Section Designer. I will select all the columns first by going to Object Types and select the columns. Right click on the screen and show selected objects only. I will select all the columns again and going to this option from this icon Concrete Frame Design or from here Design concrete frame design. I will select this one, view revise overrides. We need to choose the framing type as sway special and as shown here we have different options for example non-sway or sway special intermediate ordinary. I will select the first one and OK. Actually I'm selecting this option because if we go to ACI code as shown in this section, it shall be permitted to analyze column and the stories in structures as non-sway frame if the increase in column and moments due to second order effect doesn't exceed 5% of the first order end moments and if Q doesn't exceed 5%. The Q here is the stability index and we need to use this equation. As shown here, this equation is just similar to the equation used to compute or to check P delta effect, the one we have used already. Therefore, going to the Excel, we have did the P delta check. We can see that the stability coefficient here exceeds 0.05 in most of these stories, as shown here and here. Therefore, I will assume that all columns should be considered as sway frames. Okay, going again to this icon here. Now we need to select the design combinations. Just select the load combination you need to include in the design. For example, I will select those load combinations and click this icon here. And we don't need to use those load combination. The first two are for displacement, here for time history functions, and those are the modes. Therefore, we need just to include these load combinations. And the last step is just to select again all the columns click here start design check okay as shown here the design is finished now for example if we zoom in we can see the amount of area of reinforcement needed for each column I prefer to display the percentage rather than the area of reinforcement I will go to this icon again and from display design info, I will select the second choice here, rebar percentage. And the percentage of reinforcement needed is just 1% for all the sections that we have in this model. And this means minimum reinforcement. Going to this elevation, for example, zooming in, as shown here, we need just to use 1% of reinforcement for all sections. Okay, let me remind you that we have a three cross section of columns. C1, C2, C3. The first one is 1 by 1 column. The second is 1.2 by 1.2. And the third one is 0 0.6 by 0 0.6. I have prepared this Excel sheet. And I will input here the reinforcement ratio needed obtained from ETAP, which is just 1%. And this means the area of steel needed is equal to 36. Therefore, I will select the area of steel from this table. Let's select this one, 36.95. Therefore, we need 24 torque 14 millimeter. For the second one, just we do the same, we provide 1%, and we go again to the table above and we select the reinforcement we need. I will select this one. We need 28 bar number 22, or torque 22 millimeter. And similarly for the last section, in the same way, I will select this one. 32 torque 25 therefore now what we need is just to draw these sections inside ETAPS software going to ETAPS again 
I should unlock the model now and from define section property frame sections add a new property and choose here section designer design type is concrete column I will name this one for example column one by one reinforcement to be checked of course and section designer from draw concrete shape select the rectangular shape and right click on the screen we need to provide the dimensions I will put 1000 millimeter by 1000 and from the same option here draw now we need to draw the reinforcement select here rectangular bar also right click on the section this is the dimension of the reinforcement gauge I will provide 5 cm as a clear cover for the face of stirrups therefore 1000 minus 50 mm multiplied by 2 of course multiplied by 2 because we will provide the cover from each side and OK. If we zoom in a little bit, we can check the dimensions more clearly. For example, the clear cover provided for the face of stirrup, as shown at the bottom right corner, is around 450, which means we provide 50 mm as a clear cover. Now, right click on the bars. We need to use for the column one by one. 28 torque 22 I will choose 22 from here and since the corners will take 4 bars this means 24 bar divided by 4 this means 6 bars at each side and I will click here apply to all edges oh sorry apply to all edges again and ok And now for the corners, also select torque 22 and apply to all corners. And from here we can obtain the interaction diagram. And since this rectangular column is symmetrical around both axes, therefore we have the same interaction values. I will copy those values to Excel. You may need these values just to check the ETAPS results. And OK and OK. Now from here, set modifiers. Please don't forget to change the moment of inertia to 0 0.7. And that's all. I will copy the same one now. I will draw section 1.2 by 1.2. Right click on the section. And same way, just provide the correct dimensions. Right click again. We need to provide 32 bars torque 25. Therefore, 28 divided by 4. This means 7. 7 bar in each side. Here I will provide 1100. Zero, zero. And OK. Okay, change to 7 and torque 25 apply to all edges let's check it again okay right and now change the corner bars and apply to all corners I will just do the same steps
okay and okay sorry i have forget to change the name of this one i will name it column 1.2 okay add copy and now after we have defined all the cross sections using section designer we need to assign them to the columns again i will start with column one by one which is C1 and from assign frame section I will choose column one by one and I will click apply similarly I will select C2 and from here column 1.2 by 1.2 and lastly section C3 column 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 and apply and ok and let's close this one the undeformed shape and we need now to run the analysis for the last time ok the analysis is finished now what we need to do is just select all the columns again and click this icon here or just click start design check now these are the area of reinforcement provided using section designer right click for example on this column this is the load combination controlling the design. We can click here details to show more info. For example, the length, the load combination, dimensions, the design demand forces, area of rebar used or percentage of rebar, and the capacity ratio, which is D over C ratio. Actually, we can view this one from going to this icon again and display design info and check this option here column PMM interaction ratio this means D over C or demand over capacity ratio for example if I take elevation number 4 we can check the D over C ratio from here even we can check it by colors the purple color mean D over C ratio between 0 0.9 and less than 1. The yellow between 0 0.7 and 0 0.9 and in this way. As shown, we don't have any columns that have a red color. Therefore, the columns doesn't fail and the reinforcement provided is enough. And this is the end of this lecture and please continue the next one.